This strategy is about property videos. It's a wide net. So when we talk about property videos, we're talking about the property walkthrough video, you know, if you're doing some promotional marketing at a property too, mm. just in general property video. One of the main reasons, well, there's a whole bunch of reasons to do this one, but one of the main reasons is so that you can almost automate your time. So we did property videos and virtual reality a lot. And what that meant was that when a property became vacant, we could go in there and do the video, do the virtual tour. And then when the property became up for rent the next time, the day we get notice to vacate, we can advertise online, we can put a video up there and people can start to walk through it essentially straight away. Like they can get, they can get a view and they can pre-qualify themselves if they think it's a property that it is worth viewing. You know, and we had from people saying, oh yeah, but what if they don't like it? I would much rather someone not like it on a video than turn up and go, I don't like it. Mm. And then you just lost all this time. And another good thing is you, you're not disrupting the tenants to want to have to, you know, I know that you're packing, I know that you're leaving, but I need to take some groups through. You know, you're organizing one viewing while they're living in the property and those people have already seen the walkthrough and they're just confirming that they like and they will want to move into the property. Yeah, and then sometimes too, um, you get the difficult tenants to go, no, by law, you can't come in for the first two weeks of my 30 days, you know, 28 days notice, you can't come through. This kind of just gets rid of any of that headache. It's like, no problem, people can have a look at it. Uh, they're really just coming through to view the condition of it, the smell. So less people going through the properties, less applications are going on those properties. And the really good thing is, you're getting a higher percentage of people wanting to apply because they're already pre-qualified because they've already had that feel vibe and had a touch of the emotion of the property as well. Yeah, yeah, correct. So there's there's a lot of savings in um, a lot of areas for you. So the, the walkthrough, so Michael, those particular walkthroughs, you did different types of walkthroughs. So, so the video marketing, so you can just, you know, use your iPhone. We're doing a recording with the iPhone now and you could just do a walkthrough. Then you've got your VR cameras. Yeah, so I think, so, so the strategy here, the property walkthrough. So what we want you to do now is for every single property that you have that becomes vacant, you must implement this strategy that they all get a video walkthrough on either your smartphone or a camera that you've got in the office. There's no exception. Even if you've already rented out the property to somebody else, uh, that day when you do the condition report, you get in there, go through and do it. So this strategy, there's no exception, mm. you must do this every time. Absolutely, and the great thing about this is um, it's a massive selling tool for you when speaking to those new potential clients. Because at the moment, if you're not offering videography for those vacant properties, for, for your potential owner's properties, um, you're making the decision on behalf of the owner. So start using it as a tool and a point of difference for you to market their properties, to lease it out at the quickest time with the best quality tenant. Now, some of you out there may say, but I don't wanna get in front of a camera or I don't like the sound of my own voice or whatever the excuse is. Yeah, we want you to be in, in the video footage sometimes. You don't have to do it on the property walkthroughs all the time because mm. again, we want this to be timeless. You know, you may not be at the company in another 12 months or two years or three years, or you know, you may not be in that role. So what we would suggest is, uh, also, you want to kind of hook people in. The, where property videos kind of fail and you're losing that good quality point of difference in marketing is when people just kind of walk through and there's no narration to it at all. Mm. It's just silent. Or they have really, really bad elevator music and it just makes you go insane. We want you to narrate it. Now, there are two ways to narrate it. One is you do the recording and then when you get back to the office, you do the video recording until you, you dub it over. You know, you're watching the video, the file that you've done, and then you record over that just with, a, with an audio. Really easy to do. You can use a soundbite on your phone and just um, sync that together. The other one is when you're actually at the property and you actually say, hey, Michael, IGT Realty. Today we're at 1 Smith Street. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom home. Now, the other thing here is when you're doing these videos, a lot of people fall into a boring lull. I'm at 1 Smith Street, two bedroom, two bathroom. It's a magnificent property. It's set on, on this large piece of land and across the road, you've got this, you've got this, you've got this. And by the time... It's that single monotone, the mistake. You've got to get excited. 
Look at this kitchen. I love how the drawers open this way or the dishwasher is here. Like get get emotional with it, you know, own the video because you're selling the property to the potential tenant, right? Yeah, and you also kind of want to start, the, the, you find two redeeming features of the property. Start in one of them and it might be the kitchen. So I'm in the kitchen now and I wanted to show you this because I think it's absolutely amazing. You're gonna love this stove, but also wait around to the end so I show you the last room. You are going to love it. So you've got their attention at the start and then you've hooked them to stay until the end, but then don't go boring in the middle. Don't go excited at the start and oh, now we've got the toilet yeah. and here's another toilet. And as you're walking up the stairs, talk about the proximity of the place. Talk about what other features it's got NBN or, or other things so it's not just walking upstairs. Because yeah. there's so much to talk about. Um, another tip is don't date stamp it, Michael. Yeah, right? don't date stamp it. Yeah, so that that's, as an example, there's two ways of date stamping, is when you say this property is coming available on the 5th of January, or you're giving it an actual date. The other way of date stamping is when you put a price on it. So if you put a price on it, you can't use that video if you've got a reduction or an increase, or 12 months time, whatever, the market's gonna be different. Yeah. Again, the strategy for this is every single vacant property you have coming up has to have this video done. Then where do you post it? Well, you'll have the file on your phone, so you can always, if someone wants it done quickly, you can send them a text, uh, SMS video text of the property video walkthrough, subject to the size. But every single one you do has to go up on YouTube. When you load it on YouTube, but make sure you've got the right text on there, you've got the address, you've got if it's two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom, one bedroom, all the right tags and everything. And then if you want to upload it to you know social media, you can, but YouTube is the best place for that. You can then use that link to post it like in your IRE or whichever platform you're using to communicate with tenants. You can also put that link into the back of like a real estate.com and domain and everywhere there. So when people go online to view the property, they'll see the video link there also. So very, very important for this task, property recordings, every single one coming up. Start doing them and really power your online presence through doing videos for properties. Excellent. Bye. Take care.